Early on a Saturday morning, students and teachers gathered at Jackson Middle School in Grand Prairie, Texas to attend the Trinity River Watershed Conference. The purpose of the event was to give both students and teachers a background on the local watershed and prepare them for selecting an issue for the Earth Force Green Service Learning Project they will be working on in the spring. The day started out with a convocation where everyone got an excellent overview of the Trinity River and facts about the geologic makeup of the Texan environment. After this, students and teachers were given the opportunity to choose their own curriculum from educational sessions going on in five rooms during three different time periods. Let's see what everyone thinks about it. I'm Ms. Hover. I teach 6th and 7th grade science at Jackson Middle School and I have two students with me today and they are Eden Irvin and Sajay Skills. <laughs> <laughs> we went to an Earth Force meeting and Ms. Hover told us about it and we wanted to go. So. Yeah, it was yeah. brought up quite a few times. So yeah. They started giving us more information about it. You're ready to do something, huh? Yeah. There we go. A lot of drinking water yeah. may not be clean. <laughs> so just trying to find out how can we help in a way to make it better. We thought about it yeah. so much, and that's oh. something that we've really learned from this, is how much we really impact those downstream and ourselves yeah. and what can impact that, which is basically what? Everything. It's really amazing on how everything can affect your drinking water and you're not even sure exactly what you're drinking. Yeah. It's really amazing, so. One of our plans are to go to this frog center kind of thing to learn mm -hmm. about all the different species there and to learn about what is affecting them in their area. I'm expecting to learn more about everything, pretty much. Like, I know a little, but I want to know more so I can try to help out more. And I think that's what a lot of us want to do. Hi, I'm Chris Miller. I get to teach at Reagan Middle School. We were able to bring a good-sized group of students over here today. We've enjoyed a partnership with GM for at least a year now, where that they've actually had some of their volunteers come out and work with our students at our site. It was a great day today because we were able to tap in to a great brain trust of experts. And uh, we brought some great students with us, and so I know it was an enriching uh, experience for them, and we're looking forward to how they're going to take that knowledge they got today and put it to work. Oh, I'm Ronnie Mae Bradley with General Motors and the UAW Community Service Chapels. And I brought a couple of people with me uh, on my committee to uh, help out, to guide the kids and uh, learn more about the uh, earth and the environment. Hi, I'm Sonya Bell and I'm happy to be here. I'm one of the volunteers too, for GM. My name is Lanice Coffey and I'm a volunteer from GM Arlington with UAW and Community Service and I think it's very educational for the kids today. Earth Force! Yeah! <laughs> I want to be able to learn how to test the water and we were talking about how we were going to try and make a water treatment plan for the community and then eventually go on for the state and the country and even the world. Well, last year at our school, we built an outdoor learning center and we built it right by a creek that's um, right next to our school in the woods. And so after that was built, our science teachers, they decided to make um, a stream team that would test the waters and send that to the state and the science people who deal with all of that. And so I thought that was really cool, so I immediately jumped on the boat. And so I was, I've been doing the stream team since last year. And then this year, um, we started it up again. And at our first meeting, we talked about this conference. I thought it was really interesting to um, see what people would have to say. Students chose their own classes, saw live macro invertebrates, and used GPS devices. Each school was given a flip camera to use for their project. As an adult, when you go to conferences, you are responsible for your own learning. When you walk into a conference, you're not going to have a teacher to tell you what to go to. You're going to have to look at the selection and decide which things were of importance to you. So we wanted to put you through that morning, this morning to sort of give you a feel how that went, went, and you did a wonderful job, so thank you for taking care of that. 
started with a partnership with General Motors, and we have several General Motors volunteers. I was going to say, Jim, I'm going to call them out for the next one. Go ahead. Oh, okay. No, go ahead. So if, if you're from General Motors, will you please stand up? Excellent. Okay. Woo! The experiences at the conference gave students and teachers a good foundation on the science, history, and environmental issues of the Trinity River watershed. We're looking forward to seeing what issues the students choose to work on and the results of their spring projects. Look for an update in May.